Welcome back. We're talking bowling. Coldwater joining us live in studio. Three-time boys state team champions. Three-time girls state cha champions. Of course, in 2015, both won it. It's been a special start to the bowling season for OHSA for Coldwater. Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, been very. We've been very fortunate to win the first one ever in 07, mm -hmm. and then uh, just putting good teams together each year, and, and they continue to work hard, and, and they work hard in the off season, and that makes a difference when the, when it comes down to the fall and the winter time. Uh, our kids just like that competition when it gets to postseason and uh, a little bit harder lane conditions and just uh, just more fun. Before the OHSA sanctioned bowling, you still had a very strong club program. There were scholarships involved for kids. That really set you up nicely once OHSA made it a sport. Yeah, our proprietors in the Northwest and also in the state of Ohio, we try to run our own state tournaments mm -hmm. just to try to get these kids to bowl in something special. Uh, and then I think OHSA and the commissioner Dan Ross saw that and they worked hard to get it done. It, just, it took a couple years, several years, and now it's uh, been since 07 and now we've got two divisions. Yeah. So we've got big school, little school, and it's kind of neat that we won some of our first ones against all the big teams and the bigger schools in the state, but now it's, uh, it's just as special to win a state title even though it's a division two. Western Buckeye League as well, competing as a league. So those schools got to roll WHSBC and then also Western Buckeye League, they get lots of matches. In. Yeah, just a lot more matches because if they bowl each other in our conference, that's a match. But if like uh, Defiance and Kenton and Bath and all them new schools, Elida, uh, they got to make those matches up during the week. So it is a busy schedule. You can bowl 24. Years ago, we would get 12 in and maybe 13, 14, including some tournaments. But now they're getting close to 20 and 22 if they bowl all the tournaments, the Pioneer Classic and the Kickoff Classic. <laughs> so it, these kids are bowling a lot more, which is fun. It's, it's more fun to bowl in a match than practice all the time. So. It's good. Talk about this year's Cavaliers. Lots of experience back and so far undefeated for both the boys and the girls in the league. In the, in the division. Our girls got beat by St. Mary's in week two, but we are uh, undefeated in the division. The boys are 5-0, and oh, the girls are 4-1. and one. Um, Yeah, it's a good start. Uh, we haven't peaked yet. We don't want to. Um, we put up some good numbers. The boys have put up some really good numbers. Uh, the girls are coming along, um, but we want to just keep getting better each week, uh, working hard and trying to get uh, to be all the best at the end of the season when it really counts. Is, it, is there a certain week where you want to see the team at its peak, or is it not until the district, the state? You like to see everybody bowl good and, and continue to bowl good at the end of the season. Um, they don't ever, they'll never peak and get worse. It's just you want to <laughs> make good shots, quality shots, especially under pressure. And we do that in practice every day. At the end of practice, we put kids on the spot, and we, you know, we make a lot of noise. And, and we always tell them, you've got to get nine or more or a strike to win a state title. And it's amazing that we've been in that situation before at the tournament in Columbus where we had to get a mark or a strike to win. And, and, it, and it, I think it pays off when we, we practice hard and we try those different things. And uh, it always seems to work out most of the time. So You've had the chance to coach both your daughters. Erica was an individual state champion, team champion as well, and your daughter Paige as well. What's that been like for you? Uh, it's been awesome. It's just uh, they've bowled since they've been little. And you know, I mean, really little. And, and, uh, <laughs> How little? Yeah. Three? Three years okay. old, two years old. They were chucking it down the lane. but. Uh, <laughs> No, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure, and it's going to be bittersweet at the end of the season when Paige does finish, and hopefully that finishes in, in Columbus at maybe the, one of the top spots. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's, it's been fun, and, uh, you know, Trey's, Trey and Tyler and Toby, my nephews have all bowled, so really this is the last year we'll have, like, family bowling. So it'll be bittersweet, really. What's the strength of both the boys and girls team this year? Um, I mean, we've got five senior boys, five senior girls. And a lot of those kids have bowled since their freshman year, and they've been a lot of them have been on varsity, so they've been to the state and they've been under pressure situations. Our girls JV, some of the girls that bowled girls JV now bowling on varsity. Our girls JV team has never lost in nine years, wow. so we're continuing to win there. So um, it's just special kids. I mean, they all get along great. Uh, they work hard together. Uh, they believe in each other. Uh, if somebody's struggling, we always hope like somebody pick, pick somebody else up. And uh, but it'll it'll be a tough year at the end when they all graduate again. You know, when you graduate so many, but. Yeah, that's a, that's a great group of kids. Special day tomorrow, you're at home. You get to have a home match and all the other teams from the WHSBC come join you. Yeah, we have to travel quite so far. <laughs> all the bleachers just leave them there and just get them up and put them in the morning. So it is nice to be home. Uh, we get a great crowd. Usually our, our school administration comes out and watches. Our school teachers come out and watch and a lot of extra families. So it's, it'll be jam-packed, but it's, uh, it's fun to be at home and uh, it'll be exciting. We do have a couple more. We're going to do some uh, weekday matches with the conference, at least the South Division. Uh, because of the holiday schedule, yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming up. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Mr. Cardin is the bowling coach, and we're joined over here on the other set with the bowlers, a few state champions, all three of you, as a matter of fact. Paige, let's start with you. Girls team, five seniors. Can you believe you're yep. a senior already? I don't know. It's because since volleyball season's over, it's tough to 
realize that it's I'm actually a senior. This is my last year, so I'm just taking it day by day, and not taking any day for granted. How has your season gone so far? You're, you're the leader in the league, 205 average, 253 is a high. What's been a highlight for you so far? Um, just going every week and just seeing like the lane play and um, like what's different from week to week and just taking it frame by frame, never looking ahead or anything, and always having my teammates by my side and being able to have people there to help you when you're down. You like that challenge of trying to read the lane and seeing what the pattern is for that week? Yeah, especially since we bowl after the boys, they like to tear up the lane a little bit. It's a little harder <laughs> to bowl on. But yeah, it's fun to see like what different ball you can throw and what different lanes. You certainly could have, could have bowled in college, could have played volleyball. You chose Ohio Northern just yesterday yep. to play volleyball. <laughs> Tell us about that decision. Yeah, it was a super tough decision between both, but I kind of came, came down to it that since my senior year, I didn't um, play much of my volleyball because of my back injury. So I'm glad I chose to play volleyball. So I have four more years to pursue my career in volleyball and uh, achieve my goal. So I'm excited. Trey James, champion in 2015. Want to get back there and win it individually and as a team, I'm sure. Yes, of course. Um, last year, finishing second kind of left a bitter taste in our mouths and really kind of makes you work that much harder to get back there because it's always better to win. What, what's it like to be a part of this program? All the state championships for the boys and girls, getting second and saying, yeah. this doesn't feel good. Yeah, um, It's really something special yeah. to have, to be able to be blessed to win and have success at the highest level so much. What's been a couple highlights for you over your career so far? Um, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I met a lot of new guys. We've had made some great friendships and stuff. And I think the best feeling without throughout all of it is winning a state championship for the seniors and sending them out the right way. Do you guys have a slogan or a motto for this year as, as the guys? Um, not really a motto or anything. We just like to stick. We have a strong group of seniors this year leading our team along the way to hopefully have a strong playoff run and get it done. Corey Whitaker, 214 is your average, 249 high game. Tell me about what that, that, that was like. I mean, it's a great feeling to go out there and throw consistent shots day after day and pays off towards the average. What's practice like for the cold water bowlers? Uh, throwing consistent shots, make sure you hit the pocket, big emphasis on spare shooting. I went down a few years ago and I remember some trick shots coming out. Does that still happen? <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> yeah. Do you have some in your bag? No. No. <laughs> You're not the trick shot guy. Uh, bowling at home tomorrow, what's that mean for you? I mean, it's going to be special bowling one more time at Playmore Lanes in an official match, and then after that, it's just practice, practice, practice until postseason. What's it like when the, when the lights are on, the bleachers are set up, and you, and you see the crowd around you? I mean, it's a great feeling to know that your family, your friends are coming out to support you in your favorite sport. All right, cold water bowlers, we have state champions all across the set here. <laughs> Trying to earn another one this year. Good luck to all of you, and thanks for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. That's cold water when we return.